still down. We can blame that there are non-believers, we can blame that there are Catholics, we can blame that there are Muslims, we can blame that there are the outsiders. Materialism is all over. Even in the church. Even in Christianity. Has penetrated. Materialism, according to a dictionary, it says, tendency to consider material possession and physical comfort as more important than spiritual value. Yeah, ten, 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 tendenza li ni considera u l'affarijit materiali u l'affarijit li anna u comfort fizikali iktar importanti min l'affarijit tal spirito. That's a dictionary. Like a dictionary. How it defines materialism. Kif jit definisci il kelma materialism. We give more value Not with their valor in material things more than spiritual things. And we put a list of people are depressed. Una lista depressioni. Mental disorders. Problemi mentali. It's all coming because the void of people's life. We are selling our souls in this world. When we belong <coughs> to our Father, we worry a lot of things when we depend on Christ. As Abigail said this morning, we depend on Him. He's our Lord. He's our Savior. He died on the cross. And we still are working for our salvation. You're already saved. All you have to do is trust in your shepherd. Giving up your heart. Obeying his instructions. Obeying his instructions. And let him guide you. Oh, Hallelujah, he could that. Matthew, Matthew, three, five, verse three. Matthew, chapter Hamza, verse three. Verse three, da. Blessed, spiritually prosperous, happy, and to be admired, because I'm using amplified Bible. Are the poor in spirit? Those devout of spiritual arrogance, those who regard themselves as insignificant, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, both now and forever. In Berkin, in Fora of the Spirit, Ashtachom is Saltna Tasmawi. Here it says that I work at Tate. If you Yekin. trust the Lord, Without complicating your life, complicating your thoughts, you are poor in spirit. And you were promised to receive the kingdom of heaven. Just trust in God. Denying yourself. You have nothing to do with the world. We are holy. We are set apart. We has nothing to do with the world anymore. Jesus paid the price for us. We are carrying the light. We have the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. We are always carrying the load upon us. When Jesus said, Take my yoke, because it's light. And we take our yoke, which the world provides. We take the family yoke upon us. We take our friends yoke upon us. And we're always carrying. And always carrying this dull. 
Because we depend on ourselves. We, we trust ourselves. We want to do things ourselves. We want to do it our own way. We deny God's way. That's the problem. That's what we're facing today. Materialism, Materialism is destroying personal human identity. Jesus died to give us an identity. I'm, my identity is I'm a citizen of heaven. I'm a child of God. I've been sanctified. I've been chosen to be set apart. But we're still struggling because of this material, materialism. We lost the sense of self. Who we are. Some people want to be Michael Jackson. Some people want to be someone else. Not me. I've been created. Unique. Look at your fingerprints. Today to open a mobile phone, you use your fingerprint. You use your face facials. They use your DNA. Because you're unique. There's no one else like you. But I want to be someone else. I've been born a man and I want to be a woman. I've been born a woman and I want to be a man. And all this confusion is pressing us. We lost to distinguish characters. Because we want to be someone else. We study subjects which are not the joy for us to study. Because I want to be like someone else. And I do things not comfort for me. Why? Because you are being born for a purpose. Before you was born, God has a plan for you. And his plans are not even. But his plans are for you to prosper. People of God, you are unique. Be yourself. Be comfortable of what God made you. Just trust him. Let's turn our Bibles and Proverbs. Twenty-eight, verse twenty-two. Proverbs chapter twenty-eight, verse twenty-two. Selfish people are in a hurry to get rich. And do not realize that they soon will be poor. We work so hard for this materialism life. But still one day you have to be in that coffin like everyone else. If the queen dies today, hopefully not. <laughs> 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 but they will make a coffin for her. <laughs> they might have some things which are 
are much more wealthy than mine. But still, she would be in the ground where everybody else is. So why? We value things more than we value God. Proverbs 23. Proverbs 23. Verse 4 and 6. 4 to 6. Don't worry yourself out trying to get rich. When we say get rich, it's not always about money. People want to, to live a life more than you suppose. That God leads you in life. He said all, all that it belongs to you, he's going to give it to you. But he will give you all the needs you need. But we focus more on, on, upon our wants than the actual needs. We focus more on things which it doesn't help us to grow, to flourish. Some people, they focus on things, they play games, the gaming, which is coming so popular, the government is so happy about it, because it's growing every day. And I say to myself, what about the victims? What about those who are getting poor? But they are happy. Because they are making money. So they, they lost the values. And they are focusing on money. On possession. On life. And forgetting about the poor. Forgetting about breaking the families. And letting divorce comes in. And abortion comes in. Abortion. They don't care. Because all they focus on their wealth. All they And we fall as puppets in their hands. Christians. You are called to be holy. To be set apart. And to stand. To teach. The word of God. And not being part of this life. How can we be part of this life? It is by going on Facebook. I went for a holiday and started teasing my friends with certain pictures that I'm gonna, which I'm taking and forgetting about some people which are in church that they, they can't be where you are. And in that way, you're bringing sorrow to others. Go enjoy it. Have fun. But with that fun, don't make people jealous for you. Don't do it. Go have fun. Because that but some people, which are in your church, which are your friends, you're bringing a load upon them. 
the Jupiter to be school. Because everybody wants to have fun. But not everybody afford the same things. We are the church people of God. We have to be sensitive. We have to be sensitive for every one of us. Because Jesus loved us. And he said, love your brother and sister. As I love you. He never teased us. He never teased us. That's how things happen. That's how people get sorrow. That's how jealousy increases. That's why the church will split. I'm mentioning this Facebook and all these things. Twitter and Instagram. Because people love to use these things. To make themselves feel better. Materialism, it doesn't have to be with money. Materialism, it doesn't have to be with If I live in a mansion, or I live in a townhouse, or in an apartment, it's not that. Materialism, it's about your attitude. My attitude. That makes me. Who am I? <coughs> Matthew 10, Matthew 10, verse 26 to 23. Verse 6 to 23. I'm using the message Bible. Matthew is the message Bible. Don't be intimated. Eventually, everything is going to be out in the open. And everyone will know how things really are. So don't hesitate to go public now. This is the Bible. Not if you don't know what you want to do. You don't know what you want to do. Li ma jinarabx. Dak li nejdilkom fiddlam ejduħ fiddaw u dak li tismaw fil-widna xandruħ min fuq il-biut. Don't be bluffed into silence by the threats of bullies. There is nothing they can do to your soul, your core being. Save your fear from God who holds your entire life, body and soul in his hand. U la tibżawx min dawk li joqtlu l-ġisem, imma ma jistawx joqtlu l-ruħ, izda tibza waqtax min dawk li jista jeqret sew l-ruħ, u kem il-ġisem fin fejn. Be who you are. Kunu dawk li jintom. Live your life. Eħxu l-ħajjatako. Focus on Jesus. Il-fu kawfu l-ġesu. He's your provider. Uwa dawk li jprofdiko. He's the one who will take care of you. Uwa dawk li jmuħsijibko. When you start... When you start thinking of things, turn them in the thoughts of God. Don't meditate on things which makes you worry. Discourage you. Or bring fear upon you. Because Jesus said, I'm not a spirit of fear. I'm a spirit of power. Love and sound mind. When you feel lonely, don't turn to Facebook. Don't turn to Messenger. Turn to the Bible. Turn to Jesus. You are never alone. He said, I didn't leave you to be orphans. But it's the Holy Spirit who comforts you. He's the one who stands with you. We have a privilege. Anna privilege. We have everything. Anna kollosh. We are full. Anna mimliya. Over giving. If you really appreciate the blessings that God has given you, if that bread sal barkitli Allah ta, you feel spoiled. Tosok, tosok. 
Spoiler. Yeah. Because he gave you more than you deserve. Yeah. 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 If it was the cross alone, and if you value the cross alone, it will be enough for your life. Live day by day. Do your duties. If you go to work, I said don't work for your boss. Don't work for your boss. Work for Jesus. Focus on me. Because I am the giver. I am the one that I'm going to give you the wage. I am the one that I'm going to give you the strength. Even though maybe you're not being treated how you, how you feel you're supposed to be treated. Don't be discouraged. Paul said rejoice. Be encouraged. Because the strength God will give it to you. He will empower you. He will lift you. He will make you who you are. Don't backbite. Don't gossip. Don't try to show yourself out oh, here. I am here to value me. To provide the spotlight. People of this world, they're not going to value you. People, they value you as money and as a number. But God value as precious. That he has counted your hair. It's much easier for Twenty-nine to thirty-one says, "What's the price for a pet canary?" Some lose. I will conclude with this verse, chapter ten, verse twenty-nine to thirty-one. What's the price of a pet canary? Some lose change, right? And God cares what happens to eat to it even more than you do. He pays even greater attention to you, down to the list, to the last detail, even numbering the hair of your head. So don't be intimidated by all this bully talk. You're worth more than a million calories. Stand up for me against the world opinion, and I will stand up for you before my Father in heaven. If you turn tail and run, do not think I will cover for you. In other words, he's saying, if you stand and believe in me, you're going to succeed. You're going to be valued. You're going to appreciate this life. Even Paul writing the letter in prison, time to time they're going to call him to give him his death penalty. Is happy writing and encouraging the Ephesians. Writing the letter which, which to follow up the moment that, that um, uh, Lawrence has just let us hear the, the, the scripture. The scriptures that I know. He was in prison writing all this. Do you imagine yourself in prison and writing this to encourage? The word of life. It's much easier if you were being in, in, in uh, Hawaii. Writing and said, be encouraged, brothers and sisters. I enjoy life. Life is precious. Then you're ready to, to, to have the death penalty. But Paul was so convinced. convinced. That this life had nothing to do for him, much more than what he is going to gain after his life. Because his treasures were in heaven. That's why he writes and encourages marriage and telling the husband, 
As Jesus is for the church, and the same the husband is for his wife. Wow. 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 What a responsibility. Responsibility. So the way we appreciate the love of Jesus to us and what Jesus has done for us is what the husband is supposed to do for his wife. He makes it to be together. Working hand in hand. Being one together. And not focusing on material things. He said, you are much more precious than anything else in this world. And, and we just learned that you are worth more than a million canaries. Than anything. That's why we have to read the word. Because it encourages you. You have on what to meditate. Don't live dry life from his word. Numbers 23 verse 19. God is not human. I'm reading from NIV. New International Version. God is not human. That he should lie. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? How many of us we fall into this? Temptation. That God is not listening to us. That God broke the, 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 the promise. What's written in the Bible is for us. All the promises that you have to obey. You have to get into his plans. You have to live according to his will. You have to stand on the values, on the Christian values. You can't be half in the world and half in, in Christianity. So don't be lukewarm. Because I vomit you. You make him sick. You make it, you make it impossible for him. Choose. Go and live this life or live this life which, is, which belongs to God. You have to decide. Choice is in your hand. But choose. There's two ways, the Lord said. One which is narrow, uphill, and, not, and it's difficult. Or the other, which is white as and downwards. You have to choose. This is not a game. This is reality. He Hebrew 13 verse 8 says, Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. People's opinion changes. Your boss's opinion will change. Today he says something, he will do something else. Your wife changes her opinion. Your husband changes her opinion. Your children. Your pastor. Everyone. But not Jesus. His word stands forever the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. In James 1, 17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above. 
coming down from the Father. Of the heavenly light. المسير تداول. Or does not change. لما يبدأ الآن. Like shifting shadows. حال حال ما يبدأ الإدلال. So everything you receive is from the Father. تأكل وتريشي في المسير. Amen. So enjoy it. قاوديه. Don't try to be someone else. تبرفش من هاتيه بور. Don't try to to put yourself to see if I I'm doing the how I'm gonna put this word. Equalize myself with Lawrence. Maybe he's driving a nice luxury car. Praise the Lord and let him enjoy it. God has another gift for you. Don't try to, to compete with Lawrence. <laughs> Because it doesn't work. Because God has different gifts. For every one of us. We have to start appreciating. We can go to much, much scriptures. And talking a lot of subjects. But if we're not going to stand on our real foundations. Or is Jesus Christ. The rest will fall. Because when we get the word, we need to know what the word really means. You have to digest that word. And you are responsible for one another. Because that's a, that's a law. He said, love one another as I loved you. So don't hurt others. Before you do something, before you post something, before you speak something, think about it. Don't be selfish. Say, if I say this word to Lawrence, I can say something to Lawrence, which is okay for him. But I say something, I say the same word to, to um, Sandro, which he takes it different. So we need to be sensitive. We need to know one another and work together as a family. And that's how the church will grow. That's how the sheep will stand together. That's how we make the Lord happy. Pleased. When you just turn around and see all these sheep following him. Not going astray. Not running there and there. You are responsible. For yourself and for the ones around you. Because you are Christian. You are being set apart. You are holy. You are carrying the light. You have received Jesus' forgiveness. What's forgiveness to Jesus? Let's put it the right way. So to conclude. Time is passing. Uh, we can start with. All right, let's conclude with the scripture. <coughs> Colossians 3. Colossians chapter 3. From 1 to 17. Very sweet heads as patash. And try really to put yourself in the scripture. And appreciate who are you. Who are pet signed men. And carry the identity that Jesus gave you. Appreciate this life. And put aside all other thoughts. Since you were raised from the dead with Christ. Aim at what is in heaven. Where Christ is sitting. At the right hand of God. Think only about the things in heaven, not the things on earth. You're 
Your old sinful self has died. Din personen antika med din familjet. And your new life is kept with Christ in God. Och haja jdida fi Kristo i a bismuma fi Kristo falla. Christ is your life. Kristo wal haja tiek. And when he comes again, you will share in his glory. So put all evil things out of your life. Sexual sinning, doing evil, letting evil thoughts control you, waiting things that are evil, wanting things that do it. Wanting things that are evil and greed. This is really serving a false god. These things make God angry. In your past, evil life, you also did these things. So don't do them anymore. Don't practice them anymore. You can be influenced. We can see the world. Peer pressure us. As Laura said, if you don't forgive, they say you're strong. And if you forgive, they say you're weak. That's the peer pressure we're having. Verse 8 says, but now also, Put these things out of your life. Out of your life. Put these things out of your life. Anger. Bad temper. Doing or saying things to hurt others. Using evil words. When you talk. Do not lie to each other. You have left your own sinful life and things you did before. You have begun to live a new life in which you are being made new and are becoming like the one who made you. This new life brings you the true knowledge of God. In the new life, there is no difference between Greeks and Jews, those who are circumcised and not people who are foreign, and so on. We are all the same. Rich or poor, once we became Christians, in our life, in our speech, spiritual value, we are all spiritual. So, I'm reading all this for you to just remind you you are sanctified. Forget about your, your old lifestyle. The way you used to think. The way you used to act. But let your consciousness be pure in the Lord. And keep on saying, there is no difference between a slave or free. Christ is in all believers. And Christ is all that is important. If you, know, you have a low self-esteem, come on, wake up. You're precious. You belong to Christ. As everyone else. Same as, as the pastor. There's no levels in Christianity. We have different responsibilities. And responsibility, different yes. But we are all the same. We are all equal. Men and women, they are equal. Today, 
They are fighting for rights and all these things. The first thing, when he created men, that's what God said. I'm going to create them in my own image, and my own likeness, male and female. I created them. Same. Same. We are the ones that complicate life. Because of our greediness. Because of our selfishness. Which let materialism rule over our life. God has chosen you. And made you his holy people. He loves you. So you should always clothe yourself. With mercy. Kindness, gentleness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive each other. If someone does wrong to you, forgive that person because the Lord forgave you. Okay. Are you noticing? I didn't know how. We have the same flow. There's a message that we need to forgive. We need to set free one another. That's the message for us today. He, need, he is calling us to unite, to stand together, to break walls that are dividing us. We need to start building bridges. Calling one another. Even though for a long time. Maybe they left the church. Maybe you haven't met them for long. Call them. Tell them how are you. Don't let the enemy divide us. Let's start working to unite. Even more than all this, clothe yourself in love. Love is what holds you all together in perfect. <coughs> Let the peace that Christ gives control your thinking. Because you were all called together in one body. To have peace. Always be thankful. That the teaching of Christ. Live in you richly. Use all wisdom to teach. Instruct each other by singing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs. With thankfulness. In your heart, do what? Everything you do or say should be done to obey Jesus, your Lord. And all you do give thanks to God, the Father, through Jesus. Let's stand on our feet. The Bible is crystal clear. The Bible is crystal clear. That love and unity and focusing upon him and obeying his word is vital in our Christian life. So let's bow our heads and we thank God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that encourage us to stand strong, to focus upon you and let the word behind us. Because we are newborn in a new life. Which is a spiritual based life. Thank you Jesus for caring and in every detail Lord you love us unconditionally. We give you all the praise and glory and honor as we worship you. We thank you for your word. Give you praise and glory. To you be the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
not a song. This is not the time that we just play the song to finish the service. This is a time of worship. Amen. So I pray in the name of Jesus as we enter the Holy of Holies, our hearts will be circumcised to Him and show Him that we are willing to <coughs> obey, to bless Him with our life.
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we bless your name, Lord. We bless you for you are the God of our salvation. We bless you because you give us life. Lord, I pray that we love you more passionately. Love you more intimately, Lord. If we love you, Lord, it will become easier to obey, Lord. It will become easy to obey. Because we want to please you. Lord, I pray that we decrease so you can increase in our lives, Lord. More of you, Lord. Less of us, Lord. Lord, use us for your glory. <coughs> Nothing will satisfy in this world, Lord, except you. Lord, everything we do, everything we say, use us for your glory. Use us for your name's sake, Lord. Lord, we are so thankful for saving us. Thank you for giving us hope, Lord. Thank you for giving us a purpose. Thank you for giving us an identity. Yes, Lord, we are your children. Thank you for adopting us, Lord. Thank you for making us new. Thank you for giving us a new heart with new desires. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will lead us and guide us throughout this week. And as I said already, Lord, let everything that we do, we do for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.